Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Good Sports was recorded live on Thursday, August 6th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion or beat the heat and skate in their indoor ice rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, hockey leagues, and their Learn to Skate and Learn to Play hockey programs. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, featuring our predictions for the Chiefs' upcoming season, plus our fantasy football recommendations, is available at over 700 locations in KC. And with this month's issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 18th straight year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City. Now, in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, where we are today, we write, we write about the benefits youth hockey in Kansas City is seeing with the creation of the Kansas City Youth Hockey Association. In our KC Baseball report presented by the Surplus Exchange, we interview new Royals Johnny Cueto and Ben Zobrist. You can visit our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. Now, I also want to mention that you can now get a free subscription to the digital version of Kansas City Sports and Fitness magazine, and all you have to do is go to our new and improved website, kcsportspaper.com, and sign up where it says, Join Our Fan Club. Then watch your email for the next issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Now, we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center, and we are it's a special day here. Battle Camp is going on. We're joined by Sean Podeen. He won the Stanley Cup uh, with the Colorado Avalanche, uh, and he was the NHL's 2001 King Clancy Memorial Trophy Award winner for his leadership on and off the ice. He played left wing. Is that right? Left wing? Okay, because yep. I saw right wing on the, on the web, and I said, no, that's not right. Uh, for 11 seasons and wore the jerseys of the Edmonton Oilers, the Philadelphia Flyers, Colorado Avalanche, and the St. Louis Blues. And this is the fourth year that you've been here to Battle Camp. Is that fourth, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and he's joining us here today. And we're also joined by a favorite to our show, Dean Nelson, uh, who we've we said looks really sharp today. Thanks, okay, uh, thanks for having us, Steve. You bet. Uh, mm -hmm. He's in charge of the hockey programs here at KCIC and also involved in the Junior Mavericks Youth Hockey Association, uh, or program, and the KC Stars Youth Organization that calls the Kansas City Ice Center home. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks so much for taking time out of Battle Camp to join us. Uh, Sean, you and Dean are friends. Uh, you both grew up in Rochester, Minnesota, which is where you call homes. Yeah, right? yeah that's, that's, um, that's home. Uh, what was it like growing up with Dean down the street? You know, I was born and raised in Rochester. I should just say we live up near Minneapolis now. But, okay. Uh, yeah, Dino and I have known each other since before I can remember. And uh, <laughs> growing up playing hockey, our families took vacations together. What, we go to Thunder Bay for two weeks? Yeah, we go to camps together and, and just, you know, childhood friends. Yeah, and we, we've been blessed to be able to be in each other's lives for a long time. And it's kind of nice. Uh, hockey is a great avenue, a great venue to stay in touch and uh, be around people that you love and uh, want to work with. And what the, the job Dean's done down here and to have a camp like this and allow me to be part of it, it's just, it's just awesome and just fun to be here. Yeah, so Dean, uh, uh, camp looks like it's going really well. The ice is full. Yeah, we have uh, close to 100 skaters this week uh, mm -hmm. in this battle camp. And I remember when we first started it four years ago, like you said, uh, it's his fourth year. Sean's been coming down, and it's about my fourth year here at the rink, maybe going on fifth year. Uh, when we devised the battle camp, I think we had 32 guys in the first battle camp. And mm -hmm. I remember calling Sean and, you know, saying, hey, this is what I'm trying to do in Kansas City. And, and uh, he said, hey, keep doing it. You'll be surprised before you know it. And you probably don't remember this. I actually do. <laughs> before, before you'll know it, you'll have 100 kids there. Oh. If you keep doing the things you're doing, you'll have. And that's what he said. So it was kind of neat because last year we were sold out uh, for the camp. This year I added a, a different format, and we got up to almost 100. So, uh, you know, I couldn't thank Sean enough for his kindness and his time out of his schedule to come down here and help us because he's a big part of the success as well of this camp. Sure. So how's it looking out there, Sean? Are the kids uh, listening? Are they doing what you, <laughs> you want them to do? Are they learning? <laughs> you know what? The kids have been great. This is this is the highlight of the summer for my little boy and me to come down here. He just loves the kids down here. They're so good natured. They take care of Junior and they listen. They have fun. There's tons of smiles. And again, that's the culture that Dean and what they put, put in here is making the game fun. And 
one of the things I talk about a lot and when I do my stuff back home is my philosophy about yeah. the more fun I have, the more I want to do something. The more I want to do something, I, wow, it's amazing the better I get. The better I get, the more confidence I have, the more confidence I have, the more I want to do it and the more fun I have. It's like it's a whole snowball effect. And, sure. I, and then that's what this programs like these battle camps are they're just so much fun the kids can't wait to get out here the coaches are even telling me this is the funnest week of the year this is awesome the kids can't wait they're all bummed out and they're sick and that's what it's all about the corner bottom line is working hard and having fun and the kids are showing both those qualities here this week that is true yeah that that is it's all looking good and i know one of the kids i asked him how's battle camp going he said great i'm having a wonderful you know i'm having a fun time is, is what he said and they're crazy running up and down the <laughs> you know uh outside the ice just just when they're not on the ice so um so i understand you're a high energy coach when you're coaching <laughs> kids and you, you you want them to be awesome um does that tie in with your philosophy that you just talked about or is there more more to it no you're it, you're kind of hitting it right in the head I, I believe in high energy especially with the younger youth players is is needed they'll they respond very much when you are very vocal you're very positive you're very loud mm -hmm. and expectant and mm -hmm. what i mean by expectant is you have to try your hardest all the time and you have to be a good teammate you know in our in our camps or in our house we call it the school rule if i went to school and the teacher was sitting there you know reading from a piece of paper and little juniors screwing around the back of the room I don't think I'd be a very happy parent at all. Right. But when the teacher's there and he's very on task and he's making the kids accountable for listening and learning, and all of a sudden they start learning more about that subject, they start getting interested in it, and all of a sudden they start researching on their own, I, I, that's what I, those are the teachers and the mentors that I've looked to more than anything. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and, you know, and tying in with that, um, I, I saw something on the web where it said, you are a family advisor, obviously a mentor to many athletes. It ties in with what you've been talking about the positivity and a natural motivator. Um, family advisor, what is it that you do with these, these kids? It's a funny one. In that business, I call myself the laziest advisor in the business because <laughs> most guys are at the rink every weekend, you know, recruiting kids, building their players, you know, so hopefully they'll make it big one day and make, make some good money. But, and that's part of the business of being in an agency. But what I really do is I help kids and families who need help making decisions. You know, what, where should we play this year? Should we play for the Stars or should we uh -huh. play for the, the Jets or should we go to St. Louis or whatever it might be? What colleges to go to? Play college or major A and go up to Canada? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when should I sign to play professionally? In the minors, am I doing the right things to get me to the highest level? It's all those little decisions that add up, uh, you know, 100, 200 of those decisions that add up to a big decision in the end and where you end up developmentally and where your career takes you. Yeah, and it, it obviously took you to the top. Uh, I read again on, on the internet that uh, you spent some time in the United States Hockey League so that you could improve your career as well. Where were, where were you at that time? At that point, we, there was a team still in Rochester, Minnesota, oh, okay. my hometown. Okay. And uh, so I was uh, lucky enough to get to play for them for a year. Uh, and so it really helped my career. And back then it was a whole different league. I mean, now it's, it's an amazing league. It might be the top tier one uh, junior league in North America, yeah. arguably. Yeah. You've got first rounders coming out of there. you got what is it, 95 or 98 percent of the kids have college commitments. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a huge avenue for development, and it's a huge avenue for these kids to pursue bigger things and use hockey as a, as a venue. Maybe it's to get their education. Maybe it's to meet new people. Maybe it's to travel. Yeah. Whatever it is, hockey's now become the avenue you can use to do all these other things. And there are kids from Kansas City that are that are in that league. I I, I know there are a couple of kids. My, obviously. My son, my son is involved in that league as a as a play-by-play -play announcer. But every once in a while, um, you know, he'll say this kid from Kansas City or played for Russell Stover or or something like that, which was was a Kansas City yep. program. So there are kids from Kansas City, and there will be more as uh, as the program. You know, let's look five, ten years yeah, down the line. Right. But there'll be more, right, Dean? Well, we're, that's what we're doing here. Is you know, we're we're trying to develop players so they can get better at the game. They can have more fun at it. Me and Sean had this conversation earlier. I can't guarantee you're going to see players in the NHL and from any well, from any city around okay. the country. You know, what we do is we try to give them the tools to make the game fun enough yeah. for themselves. Like Sean said, give them the work ethic to be able to want to succeed. And then if they happen to succeed and they happen to be in that two percent of kids who can make it to that level we're definitely giving the right guidance and the right push in that direction if that's what we think is right for them for sure uh you know it's a, it's a hard task but uh you know we hope to to bring a couple of them out of this area <laughs> well i hope so too that that's pretty awesome uh we've only got about a minute or so in this segment but sean last year you were overseas promoting hockey uh on hockey day in minnesota which is an annual thing 
Um, we've talked about Hockey Day across America, but Hockey Day in Minnesota is an annual thing. Where were you, and what was going on at that time? Well, hockey, as a lot of people know in Minnesota, is the number one sport. I mean, yeah. it's cold, it's freezing, there's outdoor rinks, and kids love to skate. So it's very important up there. We have a big Hockey Day, and so they were. I was very blessed to be able to get flown over there with some other NHL alum to go over to the greet our soldiers almost like a little oh, bit of okay. a uso tour they had an airplane helicopter hangar set up with a, a, a floor hockey rink and we had a game over there at the same time that the wild and the minnesota university of minnesota gophers and the high school teams were all playing back in minnesota and it was it was an amazing humbling experience and one that uh i'll never forget and one that i was just very fortunate to be able to be part of and very grateful for sure and it, so it was for the military yes yeah, so it was for the military that, that's terrific well we're going to talk a whole lot more with Sean Podine and uh, Dean Nelson. But right now, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KCI Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, get a free deep tissue laser treatment with your initial visit. Just mention KC Sports when you make an appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence and sign up now for Winterstone's major series tournaments and visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and great offers. For tee times, go to winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. With your coupon at KC Sports Magazine, two golfers can play with cart for just $56 at Heritage Park or Tomahawk Hills Golf Courses in Johnson County. For tee times, visit heritageparkgc.com or call 913-829-4653 or tomahawkhillsgc.com or call 913-631-8000 take advantage of the two for 56 special offer in KC Sports Magazine. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Hi, it's Greg Pryor. One of my favorite products in Life Priority is called Lift. See Lift at my website, lifepriority.com. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland. And get golf ready at Eagles Landing. Sign up for five group lessons for $99. For more details on tournaments or memberships, or to set up a tee time, visit eagleslandinggolfcourse.com or call 816-318-0004. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion or beat the heat and skate on their indoor ice rink. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, hockey leagues, and their learn-to-skate and learn-to-play hockey programs. 
Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out our Youth Soccer Report presented by Market Leverage. This month, we interview former Chief Duran Cherry, who is behind the Gateway Village Sports Complex coming to Grandview. And find out how you can register to win a Chiefs NFL flag by signing up for our fan club on our website, kcsportspaper.com, by liking our Facebook page, which is Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, and by following us on Twitter at KC Sports Mag. Now you can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Core Strategies Physical Therapy, at Aries Pizza in Lenexa, at most golf courses in Kansas City. Uh, plus, you'll always find it here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Now, coming up on August 22nd, we'll be out at Aries Pizza in Lenexa, and Aries is located just east of Flum on 87th Street. Then on August 29th, we'll be at Core Strategies Physical Therapy located on 103rd Street, just east of 69 Highway in Overland Park. And then in September, we'll be back here at uh, the Kansas City Ice Center, and they'll be way into league stuff going on at that time. Kansas City Ice Center, of course, is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Now, if you have a business and you're interested in having us come out and do our show at your business location, call Good Sports at 913-764-2050. And now you can view Good Sports on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, I mentioned we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center. We're talking with uh, Stanley Cup winner uh, Sean Podine and Dean Nelson, the general manager from the KC Ice Center. Uh, Dean, again, thank you for hosting us today. Oh. Thank you for allowing me to come in and talk with Sean again. This, no, is, this is my fourth year, I think, yeah. do, doing that as well. So Yeah, uh, no, we really appreciate it. Thanks yes. for having us, Steve. Oh, you <laughs> bet. Uh, so, Sean... Uh, you won the King Clancy Award for leadership on and off the ice in uh, the same year that you won the Stanley Cup. Um, it was a huge honor um, in the NHL. Um, and that tie, did, how much did that tie to your children's foundation that you have? You've, you mentioned that you set that up prior to winning that award. But how long have you been operating? What's the name of it? How long have you been operating it? Uh, it's uh, the Sean Podine Children's Foundation, and we've been around 18 years now. We just had our 18th event. And, yes, it's something we started in 97 after meeting a couple kids with a rare disease, ataxia telangiectasia. And uh, we just kind of started it there, and we kept trying to grow it and grow it and involve more people and raise more monies. And, you know, as my dad always says, you know, it's, you get a trophy, an award like that in 2001, it's always nice to get a pat on the back that people are kind of seeing that you're trying to do the right thing and help others. And so that was very nice. But, um, you know, my wife, myself, uh, our board, we've got a lot of very giving, caring uh, people that give up a lot of time, a lot of expenses. Yeah. Uh, to make this help, to make this work, to help families that need a lot more help than we do, and that didn't get the same start in life that we did. So, uh, we're very blessed to be able to be, still be part of it. We're very blessed to have the people in our lives that help us do it. Because I'll be honest, they do most of the work <laughs> uh, as yeah. I'm running with my eight and twelve year old. But uh, sure. it's we're very, it's something that we're very happy to still going and continue to go. So you, you, and you actually help a number of different charities through this. The, the funds that you raise go to a number of different charities, predominantly in Minnesota. Is that correct? Yes. Half the money we gift out goes to the AT Children's Project for AT Research. The other half stays within southeastern Minnesota, and we donate up to hundreds and hundreds, maybe not even if thousands now, after 18 years of different underfunded, underprivileged organizations that need the help. So how can people find out more about uh, uh the uh, foundation easiest way is go to the website these days team25.com t-e-a-m 25.com right uh, it's under construction right now but it should be up and running soon it gives you all the information on what we things we've done in the past who we're helping where all the money goes and uh, where we're trying to get to and the information i have here is on facebook it's team 25 yes and on twitter it's team 25 kids yes okay cool well people can find out more about these things what what are some of the things you've done i know dean has said he's gone up to play in your golf tournament yes uh i saw some video one year of the golf tournament um what are some of the other things you do to raise money you know we've had events down in rochester ranging from you know we used to have a big gala party with bands and music and we'd have a golf tournament when last few years we've been downtown rochester we blocked off downtown and had different uh, things for the kids like street hockey street Mm -hmm. soccer paintings you know it's always it's usually centered around a very family friendly atmosphere a lot of music a lot of good people trying to do good things for people who need it and this year we had a just a we had a big tournament we had the beanbag tosses and the volleyball and just like an 80s theme party, whatever it is, that <laughs> it's fun to get people involved and that we can have the kids involved in. It makes it a lot of it makes it a good good time and a good event. And you've had some celebrities that have come to assist you as well. Who are some of the 
uh, some of the stars that have come out and helped you? Um, I guess the people that, uh, that, that people would know, we were lucky enough to have a Garth Brooks come one year, a Brad yeah. Paisley, uh, people like that that would probably be the higher end people. And we have a lot of you know different hockey players. It's been 18 years, so we've had <laughs> people come in and out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're blessed to have those people come by to help us on it with, this, with, our, with our cause. Yeah, I saw, I saw the picture with Garth Brooks, and I'll try and put it up as we're, you know, as we're showing this show. Um, so, again, it's team25.com on Facebook, team 25 uh, on Twitter, it's Team 25 Kids, and everybody should check that out because it's a great, great organization. I know Dean has talked it up quite a bit as oh, well. Yeah. Dean. Yeah, yeah, Sean does a great job with any type of work he does with the kids and inspires a lot of us to be better people. And, you know, yeah. that's and that's one of the biggest things that I enjoy about spending the time with Sean and coming down here for the, for the camp is, you know, not his big hockey background, but his big life background. Right, big heart. And, yeah. uh, you know, that means more to me than anything. And yeah. we sit around and talk a lot about hockey. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, <laughs> 80% hockey, but when there's a 20% of real feelings going into it, then that's, that's really what means the most to me. So right. I, I can't thank Sean enough for what he does for those kids and, and what he's done to inspire a lot of other people to, to do the same type of charity work. So, right, right. Uh, you know, always much thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, you know. So let's let's talk a little bit about that NHL career. That, that you, 699 games, huh? I got benched <laughs> for my 700. <laughs> <laughs> 100 goals, 106 assists, and 206 points. That's and that's just in the regular season. Uh, I didn't I didn't look up the the, the there, playoff. But there the wasn't play, much the, more. The, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> but the play the playoffs, you, you played in the like another 127 or something like that game. So that's a pretty darn good NHL career there. So uh, in the cities where you played, um, well, well, actually, let's start off with what was your most memorable goal uh, that you scored? I've got one that that we uh, have on tape that I'm going to show on the TV show, that one where you were, you scored from your stomach. But uh, <laughs> what was your most memorable goal? I think I scored most from my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, honest to goodness, looking back, it was my very first goal in the NHL, and the and the realization that I was in the National Hockey League and I had scored a goal. It was, I don't. It was like the whole my whole chest just like that deep breath. <laughs> like, okay, now we can relax and actually see if we can play here too. Yeah. And that was the one that stuck out the most, just because I, on, I mean, who would ever thought it would have happened in the first place? So yeah. that that one was very special. And, and we have to mention that. Uh, the graphics that are, that are going to be below you on the TV show are going to have a certain spelling of your name, S-H-J-O-N. Um, and people might think that you're from another country or something <laughs> like that with that name, but you're not. It, you know, you're a Minnesota born and bred, uh, you know, American that made it to the NHL. That's pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah. um, so in the cities where you played, which city had the best fans? that you played for that were most enthusiastic for what it is that you did and the team you played and who had the most obnoxious and, and, you, <laughs> and, you, and you can you can pick the uh, you can pick the teams that you know you played against as the most obnoxious if you want <laughs> you don't have it doesn't necessarily have to be you know it was it was it was fun I, I mean I really liked everywhere I got to play Edmonton it was fun playing in front of Canadian fans because they're all very well versed in the game of hockey so they kind of know what's going on out there Philly, they were very direct fans <laughs> to let you know exactly how you were doing at the time, which, again, I really enjoyed because it, 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 was, uh, it was very black and white. Colorado, <laughs> we were out there. We were, I was lucky enough to be out there when we were having a lot of success as a team. So yeah. I think they sold out every game I played there for five years. So they were very – and we had a lot of success, so there was a lot of positive vibes coming. And then I got to come to St. Louis, and, I mean, the organization, the fans there were just first class. I mean, really, really enjoyed my time there. was lucky to get there for a year and a half. And they were just very – so enthusiastic it was a blast playing there so i was just very lucky to be in buildings where i really enjoyed each type of fan that was there for, for sure so we've only got two minutes or so here we need to talk to dean for a second about about don't need how to, to talk how to me about nothing how, how to sign up for <laughs> hockey but uh sean what was it like raising the cup after all those years of of hard work and things like that uh, i mean what what really feelings go through you at that moment Brian Trotchy, an old player from New York Islander, said sure. it best. He goes, you know, the, the second you raise the cup, it's like all your problems are gone in, in the world, <laughs> whether you're having trouble at home or 
trouble on the marriage side, side or your kids are doing something or your buddy's mad, whatever it is. It's like for those three to five seconds you have it, it's like all's right in the world. It's a really <laughs> cool feeling. It's awesome. And then you, then you put it down and then you realize, well, that's right, I am having trouble at home. <laughs> <laughs> can I get the cup back again? Yeah, can I get that back, please? <laughs> yeah. Just for a couple of years? <laughs> but, but your trouble started the day you won the Stanley Cup because, as one website said, your celebration was the smelliest Stanley Cup fun <laughs> fact out there. Tell us, uh, and, and you know, uh, above and beyond your marriage vows, um, you know, you wound up doing something crazy. Well, short and to the point, <laughs> that one day maybe I'll grow up past 12 years old when someone <laughs> double dog dares me, I won't do it. But uh, we were just in the black room enjoying the victory, and all of a sudden everyone was dressed and ready to go to the restaurant, and I still had my stuff on, and Someone dared me to wear it to the, the, the bar restaurant, so I wore it there. And then Barry Melrose looked at me, and someone's like, Barry, Barry, look at Pods. And he's like, that's nothing. I had a guy in Adirondack when we went up there wear his stuff for 24 hours. <laughs> so, of course, you know, like, don't lick the, don't lick the pole in the middle of December. <laughs> you do. And so then 25 hours later, it was a very smelly uh, wash-off. Yeah, and you slept in your stuff. Yes. And that, that's where the marriage vows, I mean, your wife didn't yeah. expect that. So. <laughs> she wasn't anywhere near, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, anything, she pr- the clothespin, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever she had, had to do that. So, again, it's. Uh, Team25.com is where people can find more information about you, and all you have to do is type in your name, and and that'll pop up as well. Dean, get real quick. Tell us uh, about the rink and when you can sign up for Learn to Play. Just go to our website, KCICenter.com. Sure. Uh, and just everything's on there. You know, we have another – we have more Learn to Play hockey. It runs year-round. The the hockey is ramping up rapidly here with with all of our camps and clinics leading right into tryouts. So – uh, really, people know KCI, Kansas City Ice Center dot com is the best place to go. Sure, and uh, yeah, leagues are starting back up very shortly. You said tryouts start for the travel teams. Yep, start next week. Wow, yep. that'll do it for today's show. My thanks to the Kansas City Ice Center for hosting us today, and to Kansas City Ice Center GM Dean Nelson plus Stanley Cup winner Sean Podine for joining us today. They've got to get back out on the ice and work with these kids now. Uh, Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find it all over KC, and it's free, so pick it up today. Are you a migraine sufferer living in Kansas City? Are you tired of trying medication after medication and nothing seems to work? Rowe Neurology Institute can help you. Dr. Vernon Rowe has been treating migraine patients in Kansas City for 30 years. At the Rowe Neurology Institute, we control migraines for 90% of the patients who come to see us by figuring out what triggers their migraines rather than just prescribing pills. Make an appointment today with Rowe Neurology Institute and start taking your life back. Save 20% on one menu item at Aries Pizza in Lenexa with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Or get their lunch buffet for just $5.99. Aries is located at 12812 West 87th Street Parkway in Lenexa. That's about a block east of Flum on the north side of 87th Street. Call Aries at 913-438-5555 or find them on Facebook at Aries Pizza KC. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or your driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. Sign up now for the Niles 5K Run Walk on Saturday, September 26th. Proceeds from this fundraiser benefit Niles Home for Children. Since 1883, the Niles Home has helped rebuild lives and renew hope for children and families in our city. For questions and to register for the event, visit nileshomekc.org. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey Classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. 
It's the most wonderful time for sports in KC, and you can follow the Royals, Chiefs, and more with your free subscription to Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Just go online to kcsportspaper.com and join our fan club to get your free subscription. In this month's issue, we feature the Surplus Exchange KC Baseball Report, the Market Leverage Youth Soccer Report, the Row Neurology Health and Fitness Report, and the KC Ice Center Hockey Report. Visit our mobile-friendly website, kcsportspaper.com, and sign up today. Now you can view our shows and past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. 